problem in all the finish show her we can try to enjoy we be so tired it's probably so low key she want to fly with you let's make three hi guys welcome back to my channel i hope you all are doing well if this is your first time here thank you so much for tuning in today and if you are a returning subscriber girl you know i love you already okay in today's video guys i want to discuss ways on how to start romanticizing your life and start falling in love with your life again so are you currently in a state where you feel like your life is not interesting enough you feel like your life is boring you're not living to your full potential you're not making the most out of your life well i hope that this video will help you today because that's exactly where i was three years ago i was in a very very dark space like i put on weight i got into a mole and i didn't want to do the things that i love doing i changed myself completely i became so miserable i didn't want to go out even when i went out <laughs> i didn't want to take pictures i didn't want to be seen in pictures i lost my self-confidence in my opinion like i felt like my life was probably on a pause for a few years like when i mean a pause i mean like not living to the, to my full potential obviously i was going to work or doing whatever i had to do to survive but i'm talking about when when we talk about enjoying your life i lost that back then and when i decided to finally change things around i was like you know what I'm not old like why am i wasting my life i want to start living every moment of my life and make it count like i wanted to start having fun again i wrote down a few things that i wanted to change in my life and that has helped me a lot like starting to like love your life again You're basically going to bed at night and looking forward to the next day looking forward to the things that you plan to do the next day looking forward to the weekend for example looking forward to sunday if you sit around and waste your life you will never get it back you will never get that one minute back you will never get your 24 hours back okay you need to make the most out of your 24 hours my first tip will be to start the day with the morning routine that makes you feel absolutely good okay how you start your day in the morning matters a lot and it has a key part to play in how the rest of your day goes so you need to make sure that you create a morning routine that you love that you absolutely look forward to every morning or that you're excited to do when you're going to bed the previous night so you have to create a morning routine routine that you want to stick to religiously that will become part and parcel of your lifestyle and the things that you actually love the things that make you feel good some examples of morning routines that you can incorporate be praying in the morning or starting your day with some positive affirmations or even reading a passage from the bible a passage that will resonate to you a passage that you carry along throughout that day so how you start your day in the morning matters a lot i always like starting on a positive note so obviously being grateful about just waking up in the morning because not everyone has the privilege to wake up in the morning some people die in their sleep the fact that i am up i always have to say thanks to god anyway i, I just say like a quick prayer and pray to god that he should lead me throughout the day that he should lead my path he should protect me you know and read a short bible verse as well and those are things that will basically transform even your mindset throughout the day you'll be so positive in here once you're positive in here your day is bound to be positive as well you're ready to tackle anything that comes in your way with a positive mindset i feel like grounding yourself in the morning is very important for me i mean this is for christians i understand that not everyone that follows me or watches this video is a christian but i'm just talking about religion in general like whatever you practice out there i always feel like it's good to feel grounded in the morning before you start about your day another idea for your morning routine is to set your favorite facial routine or you know skincare routine or morning skincare routine or a shower routine with your favorite products for example those are things that will basically get you excited to waking up in the morning to actually going to have a shower when you think about your favorite products that you apply that you use in the morning that makes you feel good i have a morning routine that i absolutely love some of the products i use during the morning are not the same 
routine that I use at night. So I always look forward to doing like my facial morning routine. In the morning, my shower is very quick. So I don't really look forward to that because it's just a basic shower, but the one I do at night, baby. Ooh. So I always look forward to my facial routine in the morning. It just makes me feel confident to apply these products that I know that I love. So create yourself a favorite shower routine, morning facial routine. Another idea of morning routines would be, would be to create your favorite drink, for example. Are you a coffee drinker in the morning? Are you a tea drinker? I'm not really a coffee drinker per se, but I I always try as much as possible to have that one coffee in the morning. I feel like that sets me for the day. And I have my favorite drink that I always make every morning. I don't drink regular coffee. I either get the ones in the sachets, you know, the ones that has a little bit of flavor. So I always look forward to that in the morning anyway, or I get a Starbucks. You can set up your routine to be like, you know, you stop by Starbucks Starbucks on your way to work obviously that's not something you want to do every day because Starbucks is not cheap at all but the point of it is you know you want to create those little things in your morning routine that will bring you joy when you're doing them when that will make you happy or make you feel good that is basically what will get you excited and add a bit of spice to your life as well so make yourself your favorite drink you can create like aesthetic ones like the girlies on tiktok you know the little cute coffee drinks you can make that for yourself the next thing will be to maybe create your favorite breakfast i'm not really a breakfast person and trust me guys not having breakfast in the morning is a toxic habit in my opinion because breakfast is the most important meal of the day it basically sets you for the day i need to get into the habit of having breakfast in the morning and i feel like because we are always in a rush in the morning to go out we do forget about breakfast I'm not a breakfast person but when I do get the chance I make the egg bites inspired by Starbucks you know the ones that have gone um, viral everywhere I absolutely love them although I never get to do it exactly like Starbucks but I do try and everyone in my house likes it as well so I love a good breakfast when I have the opportunity to so if you are someone who is a breakfast person, create your favorite breakfast in the morning, something that is healthy, something that is delicious to you or quick and easy in the morning for you to make. Basically, this will just make you excited in the morning. These are just ideas that I'm throwing out there. Your morning routine might require something else than someone else. You know, I'm just throwing ideas. If you do not know how to create your, how to create a banging morning routine for yourself, something that you will look forward to, some Something that will bring a little bit of a structure and a guidance to your life or your morning hey my other tip will be to write down those things that bring you joy and do more of it think about the little things that you do daily that brings you joy and happiness write it all down and try to incorporate that into your daily routine for me i absolutely love dressing up my daughter in the morning for school i love using what uniform what pair of socks she's gonna wear what pair of hair bows she wants me to put on hair how she wants me to do her hair that morning it's just such a bonding moment for us like i do enjoy it because we talk as well she's quite a chatterbox anyway so she likes telling me stories about school during those moments she just speaks she speaks her mind she tells me what goes on in school she tells me stories about her friends you know it's like a bonding moment it brings me joy in the morning the other thing that brings me joy is just our car ride all of the three of us to to school we drop her off and then we go to work you know it's just like a bonding session for us those are things that bring me happiness i look forward to these things in the morning i like it's so pathetic sometimes but i do i look forward to our car rides especially because we talk about things that we probably don't even get the chance to just sit down at home and talk about so i love them those little little things things that you don't even think that they are a big deal but because they make you happy you need to do more of that so I have a nine to five when it gets to about four o'clock and I'm in the office my body starts getting excited about what I do after work I have a whole routine that I do after work that I always look forward to I work out I make dinner have a shower my shower is the one that I even look forward to the most like you know just taking care of myself having some time to myself for some perfect self-care body care in the evening i 
I love it. Think about those little things that you do that bring you absolute joy and start doing them. Honestly, you will not feel like your life is boring anymore. Certain people just come back from work and they're on Netflix. Hey, if that's what brings you happiness, absolutely do it. Nobody will judge you for that. You have to do you for you. But for me, I just feel like that is my time for being productive in my own personal life since I work during the day for someone else, you know? Yeah, your life is not boring. Nah. Romanticize those little moments in your life, sister. My other tip will be become your best friend. Other people can let you down, but you can't let yourself down. Get to know yourself. Go out on a date with yourself, by yourself, okay? Spend some good quality time with yourself. Just you being there in the comfort of your own presence. Honestly, you will get to know a lot of things about yourself that you didn't know. Sometimes you just have to be by yourself. Cut out all the noise. Spend some time with yourself. It will make you discover things that you didn't know about yourself. When I go into the office, sometimes at lunch, I really would just want to step away from the office. I can go out and have lunch somewhere by myself and not invite a colleague because I just want that quiet, peaceful moment to myself. The happiness is free, guys. This is what I realized. Like, you know, I used to be like, I used to go on social media and see all these people enjoying their lives. And I'm like, don't they have issues? Don't they have problems? Am I the only one that has problems? But trust me, guys, everyone has problems in this, in this world. Everyone has their own issues. Your issue might not be someone else's issue. And someone else's issue might not be your issue. They've all got problems. You just need to know how to maneuver around them, how to still live your life. Problem, you know the finish show, huh? We can try to enjoy it. Problem, you know the finish show, but you have to live your life. You have to continue living your life. Stop sitting around and thinking, you know what, I'm gonna start living again when I'm rich or when I have money. No, no waiting, man. Like, if you wanna live rich on a budget, absolutely, darling, you have to live your life. Life is too short. Just do fun things with your friends. Do the things that you enjoy with your friends. I I remember three years ago, like, I used to be that sort of person that, I like to be invited for stuff, even though I know I would not go. Like, I became that sort of person that, like, people would be like, if you're inviting her, she's not gonna come. Like, I hate the fact that I just let that just like be my emo. <laughs> because I couldn't be asked. Like, when you think about the outfit that you're gonna wear, when you think about how it's gonna fit you or not fit you, or you think about how you're gonna look in pictures and people want you to do snaps and things, and it just discouraged you. It used to discourage me to even bother going. Try to have a social life. Meet up with your friends, meet up with the girls for brunch go out to barbecues now it's been summer like this video is just perfect for this timing you know invitations here and there honor these invitations if you really want to go remove all the negative thoughts from your mind and wear that lovely outfit put on your best outfit and turn up we all have that one outfit in our closet that we want to wear but we don't get to wear it because we feel like one it is we're not too so skinny or we don't have bbl to make it fit or where the outfit is if you love it it's gonna make you feel good regardless wear it one thing i have realized is usually when you keep those outfits and think to yourself that you're gonna wear this when you lose weight usually those outfits go to waste i had so many outfits that i'll just keep around i wouldn't want to give it to someone and i know people that it will fit them perfectly but i wouldn't want to give it to them because i'm like what if i lose weight you know this is going to be very beautiful on me so i'm not going to give it to anyone make the most out of your life guys like there's little things that you can do to add a bit of structure to your life to add a bit of luxury to your life to make your life interesting i just love doing stuff with girls sometimes and you know just cut away the noise build like a a, a sisterhood like i just love that kind of stuff meet up with your friends do not abandon your friends if you're feeling like you've been abandoning your friends you've not been honoring invitations or you lie not to go out i mean i used to be one of them if there is somewhere that i've been invited to and i really want to go i will make sure that i go i will try everything i can to go obviously sometimes you might have limitations as parent for example because of childcare. but if i can go i would definitely go my other tip will be to have gratitude for 
every little thing in your life, it is important for you to say thank you to God. Because honestly, what you're sitting around and just neglecting and feeling like it is nothing might be someone's, you know, creme de la creme. That might be something that someone is praying and fasting to God for. So try to be grateful to God about your little wins, about the little things that you've achieved in your life. Honestly, I am so grateful to God. I need to recognize the things that I haven't even prayed to God about and he has answered. Those little things basically will set you up to not feeling negative about your life again and just feeling positive and loving your life and knowing that you know if you don't have something right now it doesn't mean that you will not have it tomorrow and if you don't have something it doesn't mean that you will not have the alternative to that the way god works is absolutely magical we do not understand his ways so before you go to bed at night do a prayer like we have a tradition we never not pray at night like even our little girl she prays as well it's important to me that she knows that above this earth there is a supernatural being somewhere that that keeps us grounded like we say thank you to god at night we thank him for the day we thank him for the little things that i've achieved at work we thank him for the little things that we have achieved throughout the day it is very very important guys you need to pay gratitude to god if you want him to keep on preserving and keep on being there for you it's like you always taking taking from somebody and mourning mourning as well when you don't have the things and then when he gives it to you you don't go and say thank you or when he's showing you something else that you've not prayed about you don't say thank you so i hope that this video was helpful to someone thank you so much for your time today guys if you haven't subscribed already please go ahead and subscribe to the channel i will see you guys in my next video bye